everybody, I'm Slazastic and welcome back on this new video and as you could see, my bunny is here with us today because I am not in my bedroom, I am more in like the living room because I'm currently making renovation into my bedroom so I don't have a bed. I don't have like a correct bedroom to make videos so I decided to make it in my living room. I wanted to show you a few things I received recently and I thought it could be cool to do it on the Valentine's Day for all the people who don't have a Valentine. Well, you have me now. Anyway, before starting, I wanted to tell you that I am currently working on Spirit The Origins. As I said on Instagram, I have some delay. What are you doing? I have some delay because of all the renovations and because I had to move out from my apartment to come back here. I didn't have the time yet to make the series. This is why I'm making those small videos because it's quick, it's fast, it's can, it can be funny and I wanted to offer more videos as I said in my previous video. Anyway, and stop with the anyway. Anyway, once again, as I said, there is no more cartoon versions of my Lion King family tree or spirits the origins. Everything is going to be made in digital painting. If you want to blame someone, you go blame the COPPA law, rules, whatever. I don't care, but you can blame them. But also, because I wanted to start something new, I have been working on the same design, on the same stuff for like three years, four years now since 2016 and I was super bored. I was like super annoyed and every time I had to make a video, I was like, uh-uh, I don't wanna make it. So I decided to upgrade the things. I know not everybody likes the new designs, but you have to get used because I'm not coming back in the past. It will be either this design or if you have another idea that it's not too cartoonish, it's not like too Kiddo-ish, then you can suggest me in Instagram. Look at her! She wanted to come and say hi. She is a curious bunny and she saw all the package I have here and she's like, I need to see what's going on. It's basically my mother who decided to welcome me back at home with some presents and I am super happy with that because I really didn't expect it was something I really wanted to have but it was something like really complicated because it was like limited editions and I couldn't have them because um, I couldn't and then she got me a few other things so I'm gonna show you it's cheating <laughs> You probably know, it's not really cheating because if you follow me on Instagram a few months ago, like maybe this summer or something, you probably saw a picture of my Simba. It's, you know, the Cuddlies? I don't know how you say it. Cuddlies or something like that. Versions, versions. And yeah. You probably saw it already because I love it. It's so soft, it's, it's so cute and I really enjoy it. So I got Simba, obviously because I love the Lion King. And they recently remade, uh, like they recently made a new character and I was like, it's absolutely so cute and I, I, I really need it. So this one, I bought it for myself and, and, and I have no freaking idea how you say his name in English. It's super annoying to say for me, so I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna say it in French. It's Bourrique. And he is so cute. Well, he doesn't have like, oops, the closed eyes, like it's open but it's so cute and you even can like pull his, his tail. Well, it's still, you know, on his body, but he's absolutely so cute. Like, it looks like my bunny, you know, like, 
I don't know, it's so cute and it's even more soft, like it's softer than Simba. So that's the two first one I have in my collections, you know, but I am not sure if I want more. I think those ones are cool. Maybe I will get more if I have like another one I like. I'm just taking the ones I like because it's kind of big and it's kind of expensive and it's kind of useless, but it's so cool. I mean, when you want to hug them, it's absolutely amazing. So if you want some, you can check on the Disney stores or whatever and, and you can get them. I know you have like for Simba, I know like you have an even bigger size, like a really huge, huge size, but it's super expensive. So, and I don't get money, so I didn't want it to. The other thing I have is, okay, I'm gonna keep this one for later. And the other thing my mother got me is, you know, I am absolutely so fan of the Funko Pop. So it's a Funko Pop and I really didn't expect it to be. Like, I, I really didn't expect she would get me this Funko Pop. So I'm going to show you, the box is a little broken because Disney sent them to me this way. So it's a Disney Think of Up and it's this one. It's the Knock Horse, the Water Knock from Frozen 2 and it's absolutely so cool. Like I really wanted to get in for myself but I was like meh. It's kind of expensive and if I get myself a big one like this, my mother is going to be like, why did you spend so many money on two useless things? And I was like, meh, 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 meh. And actually, she's the one who got me this one. But you know, it's absolutely so cool. Like I really, really, really enjoy it. It's so beautiful. And the fact like it's kind of, transparent in a way it's super cool like you really feel like it's water and it's really a beautiful one I'm listening because my bunny is making weird noises and I don't want her to break my stuff ah! super annoying Stupid boxes. The next one, and it's it will be the last thing I got, but it's something like super amazing. I kept it for the last, like, it's something super cool. It's something I, I really wanted to have. Like, it's super, like, super cool. And it really was something I really wanted to get. And I was so sad because you could buy them to you could buy them into Disneyland Paris, so just in the park, or you can, could order them on online, I think. But it was a limited edition. It was something special for the Lion King Festival or something that happened in Disneyland Paris this summer and I was working so I wasn't able to go there and I wasn't able to get this thing and I was really sad not to be able to go there to get it and I told my mother about it and I was like anyway it's too late because you know this summer there was like maybe I don't know I, I don't even know like maybe 1000 to sell <laughs> not sure and I told my mother that and she looked for it, she didn't tell me, she looked for it. And she spent so much money on that. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> and it's so cool. And I still can't really believe I have it because it's absolutely amazing. And it's this thing. You can't really see it, but it's Simba. And it feels like, you know, like an Oscar. And it's absolutely amazing. Like, I'm so in love with it. It's, it's really cool, like, it's 
made by the artist like Orlinsky, you can't really see it, but it's made by the artist Richard Orlinsky and it's absolutely amazing. I, I, I'm so scared to break it because because it, it, it's so cool and I really wanted it. I really, really wanted it because it feels like I am a huge movie lover and not only animated movie but movie in general and it feels like, you know, an Oscar. Basically, it feels like this little statue and, and it's absolutely so cool. And I was seeing like French YouTubers having it on their background and I was like, they are so lucky because they live near Disneyland Paris or they are like the inside ears, like the people who go to make videos on, um, like they are used to go to Disneyland Paris and they were there to get this one. They went to the festival and they were so lucky because I think it was really, really pretty. Okay, my bunny got on my stuff. My dog is making weird noises. She scared me. So I was really happy and I told my mother about it and she looked for it and she got it. Like, and I was like, no way. I really wasn't expecting it. And it was absolutely so cool and I was really happy for that. So I'm really really happy I got this one. Like I really I honestly you would have told me that one day I would have got this thing. I would have told you like it's impossible. Like it would be too expensive and all. So so no. I have my bunny. She's like, oh my god, so many bucks, is it so Not like the family tree and go far into the things and I have been thinking what I could do after and I've been asking people on Instagram and many people suggest me suggested me cool movies but like um, animated movies and as you know Every time you do something that could appeal kids, which is super annoying. I know, for all the kids watching YouTube videos, if you watch this video, I'm so sorry. It's super annoying, but you are being like pointed out by YouTube and stuff. Well, it's so annoying, it's stupid, it's useless, it's whatever, but it's this way and we can't really do anything about it except not making videos that could appeal kids. I don't want to do things made with like animated movies. So I wanted to make videos about potentially about Balto. I wanted to make videos about Ice Age. I wanted to make videos about how to train your dragon. But for now, right now, 
I don't want to make any of these videos yet because it's gonna be too complicated for me right now with this new shitty law and I have thinking a lot of things what I could do what I wanted to do something I like something that interests me and I finally found something I have been thinking of doing this for a long time but um, I finally decided to make it I didn't know if I wanted to create a new channel only for this I have created a new channel only for this but then I was like you know what why not just making it on Slow Stick on my channel on my current channel where I have people who probably love this universe because who doesn't love this universe and I have decided to make videos about Harry Potter so I'm gonna continue the series with the Lion King and on the other side I'm gonna create a whole series of videos like storytellings like for example the Lion King videos are storytellings so I want to make storytellings on Harry Potter and also I want to make videos about the magical creatures I have a few books like big ones like I may, maybe have like two or three books only on the magical creature in the whole Harry Potter universe so I wanted to make series of videos based on only the magical creatures and I wanted to make the family trees story I the family trees not story the family trees videos of the Harry Potter family and I wanted to call that like the family legacy or whatever I would have found something but I think it could be interesting to share stuff to create stuff to to learn stuff all together on this absolutely magical universe it's something I absolutely love I really 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 love this universe and I really want to like have fresh hair no not hair but fresh air on my channel well I mean I've, I've already talked about it and one last thing before st stopping this video before it get like too long and too boring I wanted to make like theories based on movies like it could be I love watching movies as I said I love movies I watch a lot of movies and the other day I was like hey I could make videos like what happened after the movie like theories like what could happen with the characters after or between movies you know so if you are interested in that even if you are not interested in that I think I'm gonna try to make videos like that so I have to find a way I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like don't forget to leave a comment as long as you are still loud because you know every two weeks or every time I upload a new video I am closing the comments on the next no on the previous video last thing don't forget to subscribe my channel and to click on the notification bell to allow all notifications if you want to be able to see when I post videos because as you see I am going to post sometimes videos like secrets videos like this one not planned nothing not said whatever bye bye and take care